<laughs> Happy day 22. Crazy. It's almost Christmas. A few more nights. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> <laughs> should we just pass the box because yeah. <laughs> I think I should stop yeah, singing exactly. might uh, scare off anybody watching uh, day 22 three sleeps till Christmas how do you feel about yeah, yeah exciting we were just talking actually this is kind of like the last day if you're thinking of ordering stuff you should really just order like yeah. today because if you haven't brought your presents um, because obviously we know all about shipping here and, uh, oh my god it, you know. <laughs> yeah get on to it yeah. Um, yeah, no, excited. Oh, I can't take it out. It's so light now, though. It's so different, it right? Is, isn't it? It's mad. I'm lugging these around like four at a time. They're like two and a half kg each. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We are going to try Octave's 26 year old single grain Scotch Indeed. whiskey distilled at North British Distillery in 1991. Actually, I have a, a bottle to show you. I don't know why. Oh, to get a bottle. Show you again. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's a nice little bottle. There we go. I like that matte black detail on the front. It's yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So 1991, as you said. Um, gives a little bit of information. So Octave, uh, if you're musical, um, you will know that it represents eight. Um, so an octave it's referring to a cask, which is not particularly common in the whiskey world. But people use them, um, and Duncan Taylor have this octave series. So, an octave is effectively an eighth of the size of a standard bell. Mm -hmm. So it's about fifty liters. So imagine when you see like historical images of whiskey, and like especially like taking it to trade or smuggling, they were in, like tiny little barrels that you could carry. That's effectively an octave cask, um, even smaller than than some um, that they would have used back then. So. A small cask, we've kind of, I think we've touched upon before, basically a small cask can kind of create like a quicker maturation. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it won't age it in terms of the year statement. So this has done a full 26 years in casks. Yeah. But the last three months, which it's spent in an octave, will have imparted more than a traditional three months would in a larger cask. So that's kind of why they finish all this whiskey off in octaves to kind of give a, a a really fast kind of sharp burst of maturation in a specific cask. Cool. These are ex sherry wood. It tells us on the back of the bottle here. So they're kind of reconstructed into a smaller cask uh, from what would have been sherry wood ah. casks. So it will give three months of like intense sherry flavoring basically as a quick maturation. Cool. So yeah, um, the other big thing to note on this is North British is probably not a name that a lot of people recognize mm -hmm. because it's a, a grain distillery. And it is majority um, put into blends. Oh. So it was actually started by three of the kind of founding fathers of, of blends. So um, Andrew Usher, William Sanderson and John Crabby. Um, Usher is Usher's uh, gold old vatted. And um, Sanderson's, which particularly part of my interest, was Vat 69, which is a very famous blend. And I, I just read a book about... Uh, Vat 69 being on a on a shipping um, boat and the uh, the, the crew drank the whiskey. <laughs> it's a great read. Um, so yeah, so uh, always kind of been owned by the trade, made for the trade for for the production um, of kind of uh, blended whiskies. Cool. So very interesting to see it in a single grain format. For sure. So thank you, Duncan Taylor. <laughs> Should we just give it a sniff? Yeah. Oh wow. It's high ABV, this, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 52%. Right, okay. So grain whiskey, <laughs> um, when it's distilled as a, as a raw spirit, um, it can be distilled higher. So it's distilled and comes off at 94.5% ABV. Wow. So you can age something for longer and keep the high level ABV quite easily with oh, a grain. Because yeah. um, it's... Wow. The, 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 <laughs> I am getting quite a lot of toffee, mm, buttery, yeah. Yeah, this is, it's quite an intense, I mean, for, for the colour as well that you see, um, a green whiskey traditionally would be very light. So I would suspect that this is kind of one of those richer sherry casks 
because it's giving a lot of that kind of um, caramelised yeah. uh, spice. Absolutely. It smells like flapjacks. Yeah, it does actually. Right? Fresh, yeah. Mm. Like when you walk in the house and something's it, been freshly baked. It's got it's those smell. little bit cinnamon notes, but more that fudge, that yeah. sticky kind exactly. of toffee. Exactly. exactly. Oh, sticky toffee pudding, actually. That's kind ah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I'm getting that. Mm. I'm excited. Yeah, shall we try? Cheers, today 22. Wow. A little, little bit of burn, but a long, quite, it's like a medium finish actually. Mm. It's almost uh, got, yeah, go on. I was going to say, it's, it, it's very, it's, it, it does kind of taste like eating dessert to me. Yeah. It's just got a lot of those like chocolatey toffee notes. For sure. It's got, um, yeah, milk chocolate, I'd say. Mm. I Again, I could taste the flapjack keenness that I was yeah. talking about before. It's got kind of like, like a kind of fizz, you know what I mean? Like on the a back of your throat. Bit, yeah, it's yeah. almost like you're drinking, I mean... Not really, but it's like that feeling when you drink kind of champagne. Yeah, it's you know kind of I mean? lively. Yeah, very lively. The spice is great. It's really, it's got a lot of honey. It's got, it's also a little bit nutty, I'd say. Yeah, definitely getting maybe, maybe walnuts a little bit on that. Mm, mm -hmm. um, so interestingly, they have tasting notes of before and after the octave. So before they were saying ah, it was clean, cool. citrusy, kiwi fruits and uh, lively hay. So I mean the citrus and the kiwi fruits I say is gone from the we're after being finished yeah. in the octave. Mm -hmm. Then they're saying sherry, vanilla, oak, honey, walnuts, and mint on on, ah. on this one. I'm getting more fudge actually um, than than those tasting notes. I think yeah. there's a few we, we we have similarities with. Yeah, it's more of a pudding to me. Um, yeah, and the spice where you were saying it's it's exactly it's like when you've cooked spice, so it's not of your, when you drink a single malt and you have like that really like the spice where it then stays on your tongue. It's mm -hmm. not that kind of spice, but it's more like the flavor of cinnamon or yeah. something like that, isn't it? Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Hmm. I am going to go with, I'm going to go with, this really good whiskey. I think that's, just a great dram. I think it's sweet and warm and desserty and nice. I'm gonna go good whiskey on this one. Um, I'm actually not opposed to to grain whiskies. I've drunk a few um, with work, and uh, I like the difference they can have, the different flavors. But for me, this is too much sherry, and it loses a bit, like where they say it was citrusy before. I like that about grain whiskey. Um, mm -hmm. But that's personal preference. I think what's really interesting is to see a grain and to try a single grain at this age. I mean, 26 years, um, just a, a, an amazing fact. Uh, North British have four stills that give them the capacity to produce 500, the equivalent of 500 bottles a minute because they run continuously. And that's the scale that they, so it took them over 100 years to produce I think a billion wow. and one and a half billion liters took them about 10 years and it took another seven to do another half. Like the modernization and the scale That's these guys amazing. do is huge. So for someone to have then kept some of this, bear in mind most were sold to blends yeah. for 26 years is, is quite a unique kind of thing to try. So pretty cool. I like yeah, that. Okay. Days. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any thoughts, Please let us know. And if not, have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.